Yo, 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 welcome back to the Hours for Midnight show. It's myself, Manrov, Jasmine, back in the cut. We've missed Jasmine. She hasn't been here for f***ing God knows how long, because guess what? Lighthouse Bar and Grill is now open. Sadio, go get your cake jar. She's munching it right now, too. I know y'all missed me eating food on the pod. There you go. Guys, you will be blessed with Jasmine's ASMR uh, cake eating for this entire episode. Please once enjoy. I know yeah, it's a once by in a the way, experience. again, if not mentioned, this cake jar can be bought at the one and only Lighthouse Bar and Grill. <laughs> in Abbotsford, BC. Cake yeah. jar is actually for sale. <laughs> sale, sale, sale. I said like bought. You. I said bought. Yeah, for sale, not for free. Actually, you can yeah. win it too. You can win it by the online giveaways that I'd be on the social media, sorry, yeah. that I'd be doing. And Going I on. got this mocktail here for people that don't drink. Chocolate. Vanilla Bloom. So good. Mm. Highly recommend. I had I'm addicted bloom. to this drink. Jasmine so has good. had this drink probably more times than I can count at this vanilla point. Vanilla Bloom? Vanilla Bloom, yeah. What's in it again? It's just, it's vanilla. It's uh, vanilla lavender syrup. Yeah. Um, Seven Up, I mm. think. Some sort of. It's, it's Seven Up. It's usually yeah. Seven Up. Yeah, seven yeah, yeah. Up. And then there's like um garnished with lavender. And did oh, you no use some type of. Yeah. Did they put lime juice in it too, I think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty good, man. So. It's really it's good. really good. Yeah, let's try it out. Okay, enough promotion. Let's go into it. What's the dating scene like for you guys? I mean, besides. Ikti, not you, but man. Yeah, don't ask me. Yeah. The dating <laughs> scene? Trouble. yeah. Dating scene's chills, man. Dating scene, we're good to go, yo. Rocking it. I don't Look know. Look how Manrov looks right now, man. Uh, that's all you, you need to know. That's it. That's, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Guys, ready to go. Dating scene is chilling, man. Why, Jasmine? What is it about the dating scene that you want to you wanna bring up? Um, Why are guys so quick to jump to the question of when you want to get married now? What do you mean? Like, I feel like when we were younger, it's funny because... Like, nobody wanted to have a serious conversation about, like, the future. Like, yeah. like specifically guys. Because mm-hmm. girls are always a little bit more serious in relationships than guys are, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, but now that we're getting older, I'm seeing, like, the opposite. Like, that guys are actually um, looking for something? marriage. Yeah. Does, does something happen that makes you feel this way? <laughs> yeah. Okay, can you clear it elaborate? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> what happened to you? Because <laughs> I'm like, yo, Jasmine doesn't bring this <laughs> shit up unless something happens. So <laughs> one thing about Jasmine, she won't bring up a topic unless something has happened. So what happened? Um, I'm not going to say when, where, and how, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I got um, approached by a guy, nice. right? Mm-hmm. And um, so, yeah, whatever, like, we're talking, and he's a lot, o- like, you know, I want to say a lot older, but he's, like, a couple years older than I am. Like, 26, 27? Yeah, 26, 27. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, he, we just, like, started talking. My friend dropped that, like, oh, Jasmine's single. Like, are you single? But whatever, like, the whole thing, right? Yeah, it set and you up for failure. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, when yeah. I told her, I was like, yo, please just leave me alone that night. Don't, like. Like, I don't want to talk to anybody, like, Mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, (laughs) yeah, so he literally asked me what my timeline is. This this is my first time meeting. Like, like, first contact. First first, time. Yeah, first time meeting, (laughs) meeting this, meeting this guy. Like, I don't even know who he, like, who he is or (laughs) any of his background, literally nothing. First time I met him and he just asked me what my uh, timeline is. And I'm like, I was like, like. To get married, and he's mm. like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Bro, trying to put that shit on his calendar. He's gonna ask you in three years." Like, right, I was yeah, like, <laughs> "That's fucking wild, dude. Yeah. That's fucked. I don't even. I don't. Know. Yo, do you know what the? Dude, wa- what's your timeline? Let me before we get to that. Let me go back to Jasmine real quick. Yo, that's wild because the thing is, I don't even think like most guys would do that. So it's like like at, like our age, sorry to be more specific. Yeah. But fuck, that's when they're 26, 27, I feel like people start to force it, yo. No, nah, but I that, feel like that's, 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 that's what you start point, to get that, that, That's what I mean. That's the point, yo, where people start getting that like inevitable idea in their head that like, yo, should I just go to India? Should I just get arranged marriage? Yeah, should I just get an arranged marriage? Nah, man, but then it goes down to like fuck, are you doing because you're just depressed? Huh? Are you doing because you're lonely? I don't know, yo. That's fucking I don't nah, that's not know. it. Yeah. I, I mean, okay, I didn't mean to say that girls aren't serious either. Yeah. Right? But I it's just like like, now it just seems like everyone's, like, in a hurry to get married. I think it's also because we're getting older. So, probably because of our demographic we're looking at. Yeah. It's probably because we're getting, like, it just feels that way. Because I know for a fact, like, our younger siblings do, probably don't have these issues. I doubt some kid yeah. in fucking high school that's 17 is going to be like, yo, Biaka, look on her. Yeah, I fucking doubt it. That's crazy, right? Back yeah. in the day, yo. Yeah. Bro, well, you know what? The, the wild thing is, like, I'm five years, me and you were five years removed from uh, high school. Jasmine's six. Like, that's fucked. Think about that, yo wild <laughs> five years out of high school that's, that's like wild. all of high school yeah i got yeah. flashbacks six years ago yeah same for memories on snap yeah. just like me running down the halls 
That's crazy. What's we the date today? It's June. It's June, yeah. Yeah, so like this one, you get the, all the graduation uh, from grade like, 12, yeah. like flashbacks. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking wild. I know I'm going to be getting my prom ones real soon. Yeah, and they're going to be like, shit. Six years ago today? Yeah, six yeah. years ago today. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Life is, can change a lot in five years. Like, if you'd asked me five years ago, you like, where you're going to be at, I'd be like, I would not guess I'm at where I'm at today. That what do you feel like your alter life is, yeah? Alter life? Yeah, yeah. Like, everyone oh, has like, alter life. Like, in a different universe, like, this is what I just do, right? Shit. I feel like in a different universe, like, I just do my job. It's like chill. I'd be really drunk as fuck. And shit. I'd be really drunk as fuck. I just sit on a manja and then it lasts. And alter life? Alter life, I wouldn't do fuck all. Jasmine, what's your alter life? Like your different multiverse, Jasmine. What does she do? I think she'd be Marvel. Superhero. I feel like she's like America's Pradhan, yo. <laughs> oh, what? Pradhan Mantri Jasmine, yo. She's like straight Hillary Clinton on these hoes. <laughs> she's, what's the most. I feel like, no, because I don't know. I guess law Jasmine would put into a. I'm going to be real. Like, yeah, after seeing Jasmine in a management position in her life, yeah. Yeah. I feel like in an alter life, she's like fucking America the Pradhan. Like, <laughs> what's, a, what's a law that she would put in that would just be like fucked? Like huh? something that Jasmine would do. I feel like Jasmine oh, would ban know. like um, something stupid. Like, she just make it like you can't drink water on Tuesdays or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, no? So, yeah, you would, Jasmine. You I would just make it like. I feel like she would do like. Some super like pro I would ban cigarettes. Shit. Ban cigarettes? Oh, after especially what we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would ban cigarettes. Ban cigarettes? I hate the yeah. smell of cigarettes mm. so much. Now that you mention it, I fucking yeah. hate it. Like, I know two, I know two, you people, that, I know two people that smoke cigarettes. Like, yeah. and, you know, great people. Nothing against them. But fuck, man, the smell is Pretty so strong. I don't know how they... I don't know how people smoke it, bro. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't mucho get it. Mushk. Like, not even mucho mushk, right? Like, it's just <laughs> genuine mushk. Like, how do you yeah. put up with that? I don't know. Chobi, can't taste smelling like... Bleh. Okay, poof. Yeah. I was yeah. like, literally, I saw it. I was like, secondhand smoking. Yeah. Because, you know, what vape, <laughs> at least with vapes, yeah. right? Like, when people vape around you, you can't really smell it too much. Yeah. Unless it's, like, flavored and shit, whatever, right? But, like... Uh, but like no, you can smell it, bro. I, you I, smell vapes? I don't like smell it. If you, if you, if you, if you walk you into, like, a... Cig cigarettes way stronger. Yeah, cigarettes... Okay, vapes just smell like, like juice or whatever, like, yeah, you yeah. know, like, whatever their flavor is. Cigarettes just have this, like, this nasty smell, and I'm like, yo... Yeah. Yeah, like, but the right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's just... Mine's even like McDonald's, like drive through, like some dark shit, yo. It's <laughs> like an unsafe environment. Mine's even, like an unsafe environment. Reminds me of like being at like a like a Sky Train station or something. You're like at a bus stop. Or, like, yeah, some like Gundash yeah, shit. Like, like in the fucking heart shit. of New York City and like the bus bus stop in the yeah. ghetto, right? Wait, what? No, New York smells better than cigarettes, man. Oh, that's, crazy. that's a bold take, yo. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't smell that bad. Yo, speaking of this shit, I saw this. Okay, I saw this post a long time ago. I don't know if you guys, you guys might have seen because it went semi viral back in the day. This one guy was smoking up in front of the Gordora. Mm. Like he was smoking in front of the gold, like cigarettes. Oh, and I remember seeing that. Yeah, I remember Siri. seeing that. And I was so fucked because, bro, it's. Obviously, the Gordora. There was right? even a video a couple months ago about some girl that was like dancing really disrespectfully in front of, in front of the Gordora. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, reason oh, I bring I it, the reason I bring it up too is I feel like a lot of like youngins nowadays, they just be smoking up for fun. Mm. Like, there's no reason for you to have a vape. You feel like it's like coming back? Fully. Yeah. You know how many people I know that Vapes are like. have been coming back though since we were in high school. You know, like people a that are, you know how many people that I know that are like 16, 15, being like, yo, where's the Domer app, bro? Yeah. That's like, yo, where's the Domer, bro? We had a fat year. Yeah, yeah that's we had a cloud, bro. And I'm like, dog. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, fucking yeah. go do something else. Yeah, vapes are actually wild though. I don't know how people like inhale that shit because it's just like mm. I don't get it, yo. Mm. Like it's I so gross. I don't get it. Like we like even with weed, right? Some people use this shit for like whatever purpose they want to do, whatever, right? I don't remember know, when man. people used to say like smoking a cigarette takes like seven minutes off your life or something. Yeah, shit. that shit I went out the window. No, I used to think about that for so long. I used to do like seven minutes. So if you did this many. But then, like, I used to trip out because, like, sometimes the air quality in India is so bad that people say it's worse than a pack of cigarettes. So I used to, like, crunch some numbers and be like, yo, I'm going to die. <laughs> and people say, I like, one know. week in China is, like, the same as, like, uh, like a couple packs of cigarettes. That's fine. That doesn't make any sense. No, it is because it's, like, the toxins the in toxins the air. Toxins in the atmosphere. Like, the yeah. Because the the they, they have so many factories yeah. and shit, yeah. like, no regulations. Yeah. Yeah. I think one thing we glossed over, though, is the fact that we're both wearing corte pajama right now. <laughs> and, like... We yeah, never even true. mentioned on the pod, so yeah. yeah we're I posted it on my story. Yeah, I mean, not my story. The hours before midnight. We're story. we're going to a jago after this. I've been to a jago in like four years. I, I literally actually. just asked my mom what a jago is. <laughs> Dog, yo, I don't even know what the fuck to do. I don't even give up. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. All, all respect. Okay, yeah. please, man, give us a, a debrief of what, what a jago is. Jago, like, okay, all the family comes and then they eat, right? <laughs> and they open up. Then the DJ's like, ooh, and then they open up the dance floor. That's, That's it. That's not what jago is. Jasmine, can you explain what a jago is? Okay, so like a jago, like you, so the word itself, you know when it's it, it like when you it's look acronym? at it, huh? Is it an it's like a, yeah, sort of like jago means you know when you like Jeez. in Punjabi we say like wake up. Mm. Some people say like utore, and then mm. some people say like like jago, jago, yeah. So yeah. like jago is like they take out um you know how they have those like uh 
they're called guard beads, I think. Yes. Right? yes the guard yeah, beads yeah, with yeah. like the lights on it. Yeah. yeah. So they t- take those around the pen and then like they basically like say like jago ayak like they're trying to wake everybody up like oh like some like somebody in our family like wake up like there's Someone like a happy, there's like married, a momentous yeah. momentous um occasion. occasion occasion yeah like somebody's like getting married like that's what it is it's like Tiga. jago Tiga. yeah makes sense makes sense yeah no but the thing it's more it's more of a tur- Thing. It's not. Yeah. A, it's not. A, it's not a. It's not a religious thing at all. It's a cultural thing, yeah. but it's fun as hell. Oh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go well, I feel like all. I need a Red Bull before though. Yeah, same. I feel like one thing <laughs> that's and I can't. I love Punjabi food. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But We've because, been too much of like but lately. fuck me, man. I've been eating way too much paneer. Too much tikka. paneer. Yeah. paneer right, I feel man? like straight fucking pad. I've all actually time feel like pad lately too. Yeah, because yeah. of paneer, bro. When you paneer, when you paneer your diet, you it's literally actually, become the paneer. Yeah, like you become like sludgy, like old little. I mean, yeah. you feel like paneer. The food is really good. It's busting us up. That's why, like, we've been eating there so much. Yeah, like, there's a reason we eat there so much. But, bro, it's actually I feel like even at the gym, I can feel my like. I had curry paneer instead. Yeah, I had the paneer bowl and then I had shai paneer the day before. Yeah, yeah, yo, Fuck, eat each time. I that one know. time I had chili paneer, bro, that shit was so. That's my thesis, yo. Good yeah. man. I feel like you can't have you can have paneer only for dinner. I feel like you can only have paneer twice a week. Otherwise, you're gonna fucking feel like legit paneer. Really? That's my that's it's my just fucking white that's cottage my, cheese though. I get that, but it's fucking high as hell and fat. It's so fatty, bro. You're like you're literally better off at just having cottage cheese by itself. Yeah, wedding yeah, season's yeah. upon us. Do you guys have any weddings coming up? Any, any of you guys weddings? in the summer? I, I could control us. Anyways, I have two weddings coming up this summer. Uh, uh-huh. Two of my cousins, older cousins, are finally uh, getting married. Thank oh, fucking yeah. God. They watched the pod. So you're Good next. Job. Hell no, I'm not next. The hell do you mean I'm next? Bro, I'm like fifth in line. That's a classic joke, right? Eh? I'm fifth or sixth wow. in line at least. That's Bro, good. I have I have three cousins on my dad's side still. No, four on my dad's side that are older than me. Mm. And I have two on my mom's side still that I need to get married to. Mm. I'm chill. chill yeah. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. One of my family's not married yet, yo. And they're like in like mid thirties and shit. You know what? It's you know, weird, yeah. You know the thing oh, is like, like so senti, yeah. Actually, oh, really my, my uh my dad didn't get married till he was like thirty. So like I just have a proper yeah, excuse. Like, fully enjoy. Yeah, dude, your dad's actually so wholesome, yeah. Oh yeah, man, I met my dad again, and my dad. You know, my dad told my man, his ass is going Abbey grind. Yeah, my dad literally called Manrov. He's like, Jasmine, no, I'm in Rav, no. He's like, sorry, he called. He's like, uh, call Manrov right now. I was like, sure. And then my dad on the phone to Manrov was like, what the? Manrov, you and Jasmine, you and all the men 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 and all the men. My dad was like, just happy as hell for no That's reason. That's so fun for you. All the time. He's just ready. He's like, you want to go skydiving? I'm like, no, man. <laughs> You did it, right? You already did it, yeah, with I my doctor. I feel like when Dadi would come off. But yeah, I don't You're know. what? Yeah, no, I get what he's saying because it feels when like... Dadi would have left in the sky he did, he and I would dive. He did it with my doctor, bro. I would bro. never, never skydive, ever. Yeah, he ever? did it with my... Yo, never. man, if you yeah. did it... Yo, why? Yeah, why would you skydive? I'm scared of heights. Are oh, you? yeah, but that's yeah. that's how you conquer them is exposure therapy. Nah, that's like straight extremist as fuck. Like, you're literally going like, I'm scared of heights. Okay, so let me jump off a plane. No, like, you're scared of heights. So, like, you go, like, you've been probably been on top of these skyscrapers and shit. Oh, like Jasmine, scared. you wouldn't go bungee jumping, right? No. Would you, so like, like, how much would it take for me to convince you to go jump, bungee jumping? Would you do for a thousand dollars? I would never do. Would it. you go for ten thousand dollars? No. Fifty thousand? No. Not even a hundred. I would rock it, yo. I would yeah. rock it for like ten k. This guy rocked because I already did it before. You just I would never do it. This guy rocked it for ten dollars, man. I know it. Yo, because no. like, the thing is, right? Like once you like jump off the, well, once you get pushed off the ledge, right? Mm. You can do whatever you want. Mm. You're, you're chilling. Even if you freak out, you're gonna be chilling like five seconds. Even if you're trying to like kill, even if you're like fuck, like count to five in your head, yo, you'll be fine. You okay? I don't think you. anybody jumping off is gonna count to five. five. Like head. one, two, yeah, three. Yeah, as you're like, falling, that's, that's what I did. That's what I did. I well, jumped out. It took, <laughs> me like, it took me like ten seconds to fall. <laughs> I was just like, yo, it's chilling. It's not gonna last forever. And then it was fine. Then I went shoo shoo shoo. That's crazy. I like a deep realization about God all the way down, yeah. About like, what, like oh, what the fuck am I doing? I actually made me more grateful for life after. There's, you know what? Some people are just okay. Yo, speaking of people just doing stupid shit, right? Like, I th- honestly, here's the thing. I think skydiving and uh, bungee jumping is like very unnecessary things. Like, it's it's cool. Like, do your it, life don't. insurance doesn't count when you skydive. It, that is true, but so, so you know that back in the day, you know that submarine. Okay, this is so bad. But well, you know the that sub, the submarine or there's like a counter on like the news thing, like 15 hours till they're dead, <laughs> like 15 hours of oxygen. Remember the all over social media? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the port- Titanic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah the one to when do, explode do, the Titanic. Do, yeah, yeah. yeah, the billionaires, right? So this one billionaire, I don't know if you guys saw the story, but this one billionaire came out and said, "I'm gonna build a submarine <laughs> and go down there to prove that it's safe to go down there." I'm like, dog, y- y- y'all not realize that. 
<laughs> this is literally what you shouldn't do. Like, the new key load at the Like, what are you gonna find People there? You get it. I'm gonna put a pad on the Titanic. No, yeah, like, what are you doing? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this, yeah. do, I don't know what they're doing down there. What's the key? Get out to a tip and put on your boot to start now. Roll like Dasamanu, please. They, okay. What are you gonna do? What's there? the meaning of life? Yeah, they're my probably tripping. My thing is, why, why are you so like bored? To the extent of like, let's just go fucking risk my life to go see like some like sh- like sunken ship. What do you think, Jasmine? I don't get it. I would. I have a fear of heights and I have a fear of, of ocean inclo- as well. In- enclosed spaces. Nope, the ocean. Wait, so, so you're good with like tight spaces, like enclosed spaces, confined nope. spaces. No. Nope. No, I'm not either. I hate fucking feeling like claustrophobic. Lost- I'm claustrophobic as well. Yeah, but no, it's just like just like the ocean too. Like the ocean is so. Deep. You know that that's the thing. The ocean only five percent of it's been explored. Yeah, we've explored more of space than we have of our own ocean. That's fine. So I would yeah. like. I would. N- I would never. I would never. Nah, man. I, like I, have a theory, I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory. This is gonna oh, be my man. controversial like, theory. Panda, it's like yeah, a yeah, it's like, like Atlantis. Like somebody's like Spongebob. Spongebob. Somebody's chacha, like, oh, my panda on that like Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> nah, bro. I think the Atlantis is not joking. I I think that um, megalodon still exists. Actually, I think it exists. Things like giant octopuses and shit. Yeah, fully. Yeah. Dude, if only the five percent of the ocean has been yeah, discovered, there's no way that like there's there's not some f- more yeah. like no, but like it, creatures it, out there. There's some. Fuck, I feel like they would explore it if there was any signs. There was like some crazy shit we didn't know about. No, no yeah, like yeah. there's the, the definitely the radar scans and shit. Oh. and it looks like there's jack fuck there. So why would you just go? You look know, at there's it? like new species of like. Just in general, fish, animal, like just any yeah, animal. But there's also like, like there's also depth discovered. of the ocean that you can't go like radar down. that far down. Either. Yeah, you can't radar that no, far, and you can't want, you can't go that far down. Because there's like, literally that one fish that just got discovered not too long ago that has like the light antenna. Like, yeah. like, like, but it lives literally in the fucking pitch well, black. Yeah. That one's wrong in SpongeBob. I think you're talking about. No, no, like dead ass. It actually was. <laughs> actually has one. Like not like a full, it's not like a full. It's not like a full. It's not like a full shit. light antenna, but like he, it's like a. It's like fucked. It looks scary as hell. Like, you can search it up. Yeah, but it's like yo, like what's the benefit of finding that? Like there's no it's benefit just, well, for, for society. Like, Whoa, if you know how Elon Musk is like we're gonna move to Mars, right? I get that. But like, are we really all gonna move to the bottom of the fucking ocean? Yeah. Like to save humanity. And Think shit. about it this way: there could be something in the bottom of the ocean that can help advance human science or advance society. Yeah, but they could. They, I don't even know, man. Think about it, man. Yeah, but there could be something like in the center of the earth. There could be something anywhere, dude. There could be something in my basement that can advance fucking <laughs> humanity. No one's gonna come to be like, oh, no. Let's see. But the ocean, man, of there's what? a certain depth of the ocean that humans can't go to. Yeah, because you get crushed by okay. pressure. Yeah, because pr- yeah, but like if you just can tell that there's nothing there, why would you fund it to go there? Okay, for example, look at Mariana's trench. Curiosity. Huh? You know, yeah, curiosity. What the fuck you want to go to space? What the hell? What the hell? What's that saying? Space makes sense because if Earth is a big chunk of moon, what's that saying? Space is a big chunk of What's that saying? Curiosity killed the chicken? Okay, yeah, something like that. Well, space makes sense to me because if people die <laughs> on Earth, if somebody nukes all of it, yeah. you can go and live on space. I understand on spa- that. On space. Multi-colonial like, ah. civilization. Ah, both of you. Yeah. I don't understand where we're going to the ocean, I back these guys up. Personally, I don't either. Like, personally, even if fucking Elon Musk made something on Mars, I'm not going to go there. I'm not You're not, bro. But if you get a fucking notification on your phone from Apple mm. saying fucking meters but I hate your house in fucking 30 minutes to see Saturn and Marjana, unless you go to Abbotsford Airport and go to fucking the moon. Because <laughs> Abbotsford Airport is going to have a fucking go. spaceship then ready you're to go, to the go moon, though. Right? It's like the type of thing you do if like life here becomes uninhabitable. Yeah, like then it's like the Street 100. You know the one, Street 100 on fucking Netflix? Oh, yeah. yeah it's like I've that. It's it. like that all over again. <laughs> I saw this the really strange theory online too. About, oh my. about <laughs> just let me cook. Oh my I saw this really strange theory online that like we're all part of some sort of simulation and like someone's like what like there's just, like things that I feel like th- this is why it makes sense. Like I'll explain. So there's this theory online that we're all part of the simulation. Like we've already been discovered by a different species, race, alien, whatever you want to say. You're like in their computer, and they're in like in their computer. Like you are like a simulation because there's a lot of shit that happens in my life where I just feel like there has to be someone doing something and just laughing at me. Yeah. Like it genuinely feels like that because sometimes it'll just like feel really weird or off putting. Hmm. Obviously, it's just a theory, right? And like, I don't personally believe in this theory. I think I might have said I did, but I actually don't, just to clarify. But I just think it's really interesting because I was looking at it and there's a lot of people that actually do believe this theory. There's like a whole Reddit, like a subreddit. And speaking of which, Reddit's like a fucking where everyone. I feel like it's just like, yo, like God and stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's well, that. just God. Why do, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. In their machine. <laughs> in their ma- nah, I don't even know. Yeah, I think I see Rob, like it's always uh, Rob D, uh, like GJ, right? like it's God's game. Life's right? short, man. Life's short. Yo, we started the podcast two years ago, yo. Two years flew by. Yeah. 
Crazy. Now we're on the part talking about fucking aliens, ocean, space, fucking rovers. Mera chacha moon te betha, laddu par taunda, like all this type of shit. It's great. Yeah, it's all it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, between this part, I was dealing with some assignment stuff, guys. Yeah. No, no, you're good. Good. That's crazy. The academic stress. Even me, yo. I'm straight. Your mind. I'm so happy I don't have any jake. academic stress anymore. Like you no, guys, it shows you. It makes so me feel young, yeah. Does it? Mm. Does being in school make you feel young? Yeah. Would you say that? Say being around no. all these people that don't know what they, because like Jasmine's a little different. I'm a little different. Jasmine's her her degree, right? Yeah, yeah. Like she's already like like done with it. Like she's already learned everything there is to learn about her, pretty much. Yeah. For me, like, for me, yeah. like I can I can like learn this shit forever because it's so fucking complicated. Complicated. And, like, so yeah. much like shit coming out yeah. every day yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, your degree's a little bit more like um. It's ever it's changing all the time. Yeah. Especially with AI, like it's always it's always change. like evolving. You know, AI is like change. straight bullshit though. How? Like a lot of it is. It's just today, like when I was eating pakori and shit before this podcast, uh-huh. I was sitting upstairs in my bed. I was watching a video. But this like AI startup that funded like thirty million dollars, right? They mm. said they had like some next level. You know how like in the two thousands, right? Like mm. everybody was making internet companies, like dot coms, and saying like, "Yo, we're fucking hectic, right?" And then all of them like blew up because turned out most of them were just yaps, right? Right? AI is like the magic word to like get people to open their booty, right? Yeah, it was like this AI true. startup. It was like an orange, a like Game Boy looking thing. And it's like, yo, you can like talk to it and be like, yo, order me more of the food I ate yesterday. And you can be like, yo, go on Airbnb and book me a room. And then their ads, they're doing all that shit, right? People invest like $30 million into him, like pre sale. Mm. And like MKBHD got it and he mm. looked at it and he's like, yo, this shit literally uses like the Chat GPT API. Yeah, it does. And you just talk to it and it doesn't even do anything it says do. And so it's like some next level model, it's not. And mm. so it's like some people are like pumping it about that shit too. Because AI is a buzzword, bro. bro. I'm gonna be real with you, yo. When you sell software to people, right? Yeah. You can fully just use that AI shit and just make random people that don't know anything about it like way up to you. Yeah, hundred percent. But, but, but it's it, like, it's it comes like, down to not knowing because the word AI is so buzzworded out. Because if the last yeah. like two years since ChatGPT came out, I feel like anyone out, who's actually people smart, are fucking hype. I feel like anyone yeah. who's actually smart like doesn't like fall into it. Like I didn't fall into it from day one. Yeah. What like, ChatGPT? Like, huh? Don't even lie. No, no. Chat don't GPT even lie. Right don't even lie. No, ChatGPT no, chills, but like there's like other companies like. Yeah. Okay, so like I'm copying like okay, I'm not copying, right? <laughs> Basically, I was pretending to be like a customer for this one software because I wanted to see what they do, right? And they're like to me oh we use 22 different types of ai to generate leads and then i look into it and it's literally yo it's like this yeah i'll write your email and this ai like reply to your fucking it's all just chat gpt it's just chat gpt it's just open ai no, but literally back, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they use it like and it, it makes no sense like how they dress it up like that no because they're just you know they're what it is it's like out. white labeling it's just white huh? labeling that's all it is like it's like taking a pre-existing software and just white labeling it to make it seem like it's it your own them, yeah man. it's all it is but that's half what business is it's just by selling things that already exist but just doing it better Oh, they just make it dress it up like that. Yeah, they're just dressing it up nicely. That's all it is. Yeah. Appreciate you guys tuning in for this week's episode. We'll appreciate you. What the hell? Appreciate you. Appreciate you. For tuning into this episode. Uh, yeah. Pre- okay. Thank you, everyone. Th- thank you, everybody, for tuning into this week's episode. Please check out www.hoursbeforemidnight.com to leave a confession that we can read out next episode because we have none now. Thank you. Um, and we will see you in the next episode. Good night. Have a nice day or happy morning. I don't know. Happy Jango. Bye-bye.